Hello, my name is Megan Abe, the Corporate Practices Executive. It's my privilege to take you through this introduction video today, and together we'll cover an introduction to caring roles, a bit of our organisation, and the work we can do together with our volunteers. A carer is a person of any age who provides unpaid care and support to a family member, friend or neighbour who has a disability, illness, mental health condition or needs extra help as they grow older. They could be juggling looking after an elderly parent while managing their full-time job, they might have to give up work in order to care for their disabled child, or their life may have changed overnight when their partner becomes ill. Carers provide a wide range of support, and each role can be different. Valuable support can vary from practical tasks such as household chores, to help with personal care, or shopping and emotional support. It can be hard for carers to recognise that they are providing unpaid care. Where does being a sister, partner or son end, and being an unpaid carer begin? It can be useful to think of it in terms of what would happen if the carer wasn't there. Would the careful person get by? Would they need any other support instead? Many of us don't expect to become an unpaid carer, but the reality is two in three of us will care in our lifetimes. Whether it's round the clock or for a few hours a week, caring can have a huge effect on us, our lives and our plans. It takes carers on average two years to recognise their caring role, by which time many carers are often pushed to breaking point. That's why it's so important to raise awareness of who a carer is and the support available to them. Recognising you or someone you know is a carer is an important first step. The video I'm about to show you is part of the Share That You Care campaign, which was made through Carers UK's partnership with Centrica, parent company of British Gas. It shows the impact that caring can have on people's lives and how talking can help. It can be hard to watch because it deals with the gulf between how carers feel inside and how they are perceived by those around them. This can be incredibly challenging for carers because it can make it harder for them to reach out for help, even from those closest to them their loved ones or friends. This can lead to feelings of isolation, which a lot of carers tell us they find really hard. Yeah, I'm going to show you how it works, if that's OK. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So you're going to see me on the screen here, and you're going to see my face, and you're just basically talking to me. Yeah. Yes. All right? <laughs> You might just have to keep an eye on the cassette. Okay, so that's how it all works. Oh, yeah. look at this I can imagine. Honestly, I was expecting this to be a mirror <laughs> to it myself. <laughs> I would describe myself as bubbly. She's really caring and she's really chatty. I love dancing. Dancing's my thing. She's, she's fun. She's just so well put together. I, I try to always put on a sunny face, I guess. Would you like an impression? He's very sweet, very, very sweet and very caring, very kind. Anxious. <laughs> She's uh, a very vivacious character. There are dark days, there are dark days. Most of the time she's happy. Sometimes I feel extremely low. Joyous. <laughs> Heavy. Heavy. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Very caring person. He's really lovely. Um, that, honestly, I'm kind of sick of it all. And it's hard for me to say, but there becomes a point where you just stop kind of caring as much. Yeah, I think she's pretty open. I still don't open up about my relationship. I don't open up about my mental health. I don't open up really about anything. Does it ever feel that Talking to someone might help. Sometimes I feel like it might, but I struggle to open up to people. I've just built this brickade of walls that I don't know how I'd feel about actually opening up to someone in depth. I don't want to burden them when I don't have to. I've spent how many years as a kid and I felt like they've been taken away. And now, even when I'm 20 and I'm just making my way into adulthood, I feel like it's still affecting me quite a lot. Thinking, oh, no one understands me, feeling very alone. Feeling very, um, just on my own. <laughs> oh, I love you 
Sailor. Mm, very much. Like I'm such a bad friend. No, you're not. You're I not. I just felt like if you wanted to talk to me about it, you would. No. And it's, it's a hard topic. <laughs> I know. my impression of you. Oh, gee. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Here are some facts about unpaid carers to give you an idea of how much unpaid care is provided in the UK today. It's probably a lot more than you think. According to the census in 2011, there are 6.5 million unpaid carers in the UK. However, recent polling suggests there may now be up to 13.6 million people providing unpaid care. An incredible one in four of us. And sadly, nearly half a million people have left work to care in the last two years. That's 600 people a day taking that decision, often leading them to be in positions of financial hardship. This unpaid care saves the state a massive £193 billion a year. Caring can be rewarding, but it can also take its toll, both physically and emotionally. Evidence shows that when caring is unsupported, carers can struggle to get a good night's sleep, to stay healthy, to maintain relationships with friends and family, to stay in employment as long as they want to, and to have a life outside of caring. They are twice as likely to report poor physical and mental health. The impact of caring is not the same for everyone. Some people are caring 24-7, while others care for a few hours a week. Some people live with the people they care for, while others are caring at a distance. Some people may even be caring for more than one person. For example, they may be a sandwich carer looking after both children and older relatives. Carers UK has the ambition to half the time it takes carers to recognise their caring role and start to access support, taking this from two years to one year. This is so important because when carers recognise that they are carers, they can get the support they need, be it financial, peer support or from their friends and family. It can involve getting benefits for themselves and the people they care for and help combat the isolation they so often feel. One of the great things about our employee volunteering roles is that they enable you to directly contribute towards us achieving this important goal for carers. We have the only national helpline for carers providing vital information and signposting support online, by email, telephone and in print. We have online communities that connect carers, combating isolation and providing valuable peer support 24-7. Our campaigns and research both raise awareness and help influence policy around caring. And we innovate to find new ways to support carers, including in the workplace. Thank you for watching and finding out more about Carers and Carers UK. We are so excited to welcome you to the organisation and to our cause.